deposits or deposits in transit and three if the bank made a mistake on an account uh, and that's something we'll have to look at as well uh, so let's deal with one and two the bank rarely makes mistakes it's more often the accountant of the company that makes a mistake but let's think about one and two outstanding checks we said were checks that we've recorded that the bank has missed now for my American friends one of the wacky uh, Canadian things is I spell checks C-H-E-Q-U-E-S of course you'll spell checks C-H-E-C-K-S um, we're looking for though checks that I've recorded that the bank has not so let's go back to our um, question I went the wrong way there going back to our question we go down our list of checks and there they all are in order of course and they should be sequentially ordered there shouldn't be anything missing there looks good I'm gonna look for any checks that I've recorded that the bank has missed so let's start with check 62 832 bucks and I see it right away on the bank statement and so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna try something a little tricky I'm gonna to give a red check mark on everyone to make sure they're matching. I'm also going to zoom out a bit here and so this might be a good time to have the question handy because it might be hard to see I don't know. So check 832 check <laughs> my check mark was way too big uh, check 832 check 1254 and I see a 1254 down there and that's yes check 63 a little bit of a smaller check mark a little bit of a smaller check mark there too. Check 64. Now there's an asterisk and it says 839. And I see check 64 down here, two asterisks, and it says 983. There's obviously something going on there. And let's go down to the asterisks. And actually, there it is, the two asterisk one. It says check 64, a payment 